right back. And... Yep. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, run away! She's doing some kind of I don't know what. Uh, run into the corner. Uh, you can also run away. And... I will run away. Still running? Yes? Right into the corner. All right. Continue what you were doing. And I think this one is a good one. Sonic is still trying to get in. <laughs> you can come over to my place. Hang out with me, Warwick. Oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> I really don't want to be here right now because of these two. They're horrible. I'd rather actually be over here. <laughs> I know that sounds strange, but... Uh, let's see... I need to pick... We need to get some of these down pretty quickly. Warwick, can you come over to me? Um, okay, so get these. <laughs> It like I don't want it to snap. <laughs> this is just crazy, crazy, crazy. The thing is, it spits fire like that. Come on, move it! Right behind me, of course. But... So it's just a never-ending... No slave statues there, no slave statues there. We have these here. I think we're done with these up here. And we have these gate guardians that are adorable. Uh, let's deal with this one first then, shall we? Uh, that's it, right? Okay, so which gate guardian? This one. <laughs> this might not work. Run away so you can pot. 
here are these two come. Alright. Can I get them both? Got one. And come on. There we go. Oh, Isabella died. Not surprised. Where is she though? Oh, she's there. So I need to wait until I can resurrect her from there. Okay, now I can resurrect her. Okay, let's see. We have Carver, Fenris. Where is Meryl? Seriously? Donic is still standing there. I think that's a bug. There we go. Um, I wanted to... It's a pity if this fight uh, goes too quickly because she says some really interesting things. It's not enough that they make innocent suffer. No! We must also have insult added to injury. Spare the mages. Give them freedom. And they would use it to tear down everything we hold dear. No. No, it cannot be allowed. I will stop it. Oh. Do you hear me, champion? Severin is standing behind me. I will defeat you. So Severin joined in. And I'm still missing Meryl. How does it feel, champion, to know I hold the life of one you love? Ah, oh, this is such a nice touch. She's holding Fenris. How does it feel, champion, to know I hold the life of one you love in my hands? Amazing. What? Well, just because of that, I'm just totally going to kill you. not... Be it's a pity it went too quick. Looks like, don't you? Colin's like, uh, shit. <laughs> okay, we're good, Callan says. We're good. Assessing the situation. Sassy assessment. Word of the slaughter spread quickly. The champion's name became a rallying cry, a reminder that the mighty Templars 
could be defied. He had defended the mages against a brutal injustice, and many lived to tell the tale. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. More Templars arrived at Kirkwall to restore order, but we were already long gone. We vanished into the hills, and circumstance eventually forced us all to leave the Champion's side. Well, all of us except for Fenris. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling they grow, even if at the core remains the truth. A new legend had been born. So that's it. That's the whole story. Then Meredith provoked the circle. She was to blame. Or that damned idol was. Or Anders. Take your pick. Even so, had the champion not been there... It might never have even gone that far. I see. So how is hearing all this going to help? You've already lost all the circles. In fact, haven't the Templars rebelled as well? I thought you decided to abandon the Chantry to hunt the mages. Not all of us desire war, Varric. Please. If you know where the champion is, you must tell me. He is a hero. A man that the mages would listen to. Someone who was there at the beginning. The champion could stop this madness before it's too late. He may be the only one who can. Is that what this is all about? In that case, I wish I could help you. Just tell me one thing, then. Is the champion dead? Oh, I doubt that. Then you are free to go, Varric. May the Maker watch over you during the dark times ahead of us. Same to you, Seeker. Same to you. So, did you... Gone. Just like the Warden. That is no coincidence. So, do we proceed with the original plan? Or keep looking? It is in the Maker's hands now. We put our faith in him. Thank you so much for watching my Let's Play Dragon Age 2. By the way, I love this song. It's uh, amazing. Um, I don't really know what to say except that I'm just so, so, so hyped about um, playing Dragon Age Inquisition. It's now the 19th of August when I'm recording this. Uh, so it's um, about three months away, wait, September, October, November, yeah, three months away. And um, I w I'm sorry, I'm not going to do a blind let's play of Dragon Age Inquisition. And I'm not even going to do, you know, that uh, I play one on the side to prepare myself and then go in and, and uh, record a parallel session. I know pe some people do that, um, but uh, I'm a little bit allergic to, because I'm so old school, <laughs> I'm a tiny bit allergic to playing games that, um, that you don't know and you play them within three months of re the release because well, I don't know. Maybe some people won't share their first-hand experience, but you'd be so bored because I I read stuff and I don't read it like once out aloud. Um, I read, I go back and I read the codexes and I I write things down in the notepad next to me and so on. Um, and that's that's kind of a playthrough that's uh, hard to experience on YouTube, I think. 
Uh, also, it's really, really hard to speak and play at the same time. Now, I don't put much much effort in it. It's I'm just sitting here talking to myself, imagining like you know, one of you is sitting next to me, and I'm like, oh, look at this, and blah blah blah. Um, but when you really need to concentrate on something new, it never really comes out well unless you're super funny and you are prepared to, um, you know, fail and laugh about it. So, some blind let's plays are really cool, um, especially when they are uh, done together with the audience like an interactive let's play and then I'm not talking about somebody playing on uh, streaming their playthrough and then people chatting I'm talking about you know just commenting and so on anyway um, I love this game I love Dragon Age Origins and I love Dragon Age 2 and I don't think one of the games is better than the other. I think certain aspects of Origin is better than Dragon Age 2, but then again, I think Dragon Age 2, certain aspects are, are, are better than Dragon Age Origins. And, I mean, I love the voice protagonist. I'm really happy we're getting that again in Inquisition. I could never go back um, to an unvoiced. I do understand people that prefer the silent hero uh, because they put their own voice and their own intonation uh, when they speak. And um, but I, I've gotten used to this. Um, I do love that that we can choose what type of tone uh, and make our choices in other in Eastern. And uh, like in JRPGs, uh, you play a set character and you can't really choose uh, how to mold that character. So, but this is why I love Western RPGs. I do like The Witcher a little bit. I find it offensive and sexist and so on, but there's some really, really cool elements like the. Um, uh, the lore and, uh, and the type of monsters um, they remind me a lot about the Nordic mythology <coughs> you know like like the monsters are actually part of the ecosystem and maybe you shouldn't kill them all anyway uh, what I wanted to say is that there that is one set protagonist you're you're the set hero and when you play that, you get to be him and nobody else. And that's cool, you know, sometimes people want to play like that, and I like The Witcher. I do prefer, however, the Dragon Age, uh, the Bioware way to do it with Mass Effect and Dragon Age and Baldur's Gate and so on. Um, it's no biggie, it's just, I'm just sitting here rambling right now. Uh, I want to thank you all for your comments. Um, it really, really means a lot to be talking to people in the, in the comments. And uh, even if you're watching this and it's been two years since I recorded this, you can still comment because I'll probably notice it at some point and I'll answer you. Um, I think I'm a firm believer of answering everybody who's commented. Uh, if you don't comment and you still watch every single Let's Play I do, uh, you know, pff, hey guys, I see you and I know you're there and I really appreciate it. And I hope you like what I'm doing even if you, you aren't telling me. Um, I don't know why else would you be watching every single episode. So, I actually want to do a big shout out to you guys who are watching this silently. Uh, I see you in my statistics, even though I don't go in very often. Um, when I stumble upon it, I'm like, oh yeah, it's, you know, those guys as well, or girls. So, thank you so much. 
and uh, this time I'm I'm not as sad as I was <laughs> when finishing Dragon Age Origins. That was like a goodbye. I didn't know if I was going to continue the Let's Play. I wanted to, but uh, this then I had a plan to do Dragon Age 2. Um, but this time I don't have a plan to do anything and I won't be doing Dragon Age Inquisition until at least a year after release. Uh, so if you have any suggestions what you want to watch me play, uh, let me know. I have pretty particular taste. Maybe I'll do Grim Fandango. It was a really long time ago, so it wouldn't be blind, but I'd also probably wouldn't remember anything. Um, I would love to play Wasteland 2 when it comes out, and I was actually thinking about doing that blind. But as I understand, um, oh, this is so cute! The babies, the babies—they always do this. Put the babies in the that were born during the making of the game. We had that in Battlefield 2 as well. So funny. Anyway, um. I um, I don't think I heard that uh, Wasteland 2 there's a lot of lore and stuff going on so it might not make for a good blind let's play and I think there are a lot of blind let's plays of the beta out so I don't think people are that interested in Wasteland maybe I'll do that as well later um, I wanted to do Thief as well, but I haven't been able to play Thief as much as I wanted to, so I'm still not able to ghost a let's, let's play thoroughly. It would probably be a Crash Bang Let's Play, but not blind. And yeah, oh, let's look at all these. Um, if if I can recognize, oh, John Curry, he's coming back. Um, it's Severin. And Greg Ellis, that's Cullen. And Mark Meyer. <laughs> I should go. And yep, yeah, it's cool, isn't it? I'm reading all these names. Um, I think actually I should go. I think I think we're done here. So once again, thanks for watching. Oh, Steve Valentine, thanks for watching. <laughs>